Hi everyone, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, my name is Erin and I am a stay-at-home mom to five children and I resell clothing online on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. Today I have a thrift haul and it is a collective thrift haul. It's from two different days of sourcing and um, probably like seven stores that I went to. A lot of this haul already has sold because it's from the past about week and a half. And so I don't have those items to show you the sold ones, but I'll show you everything else. And the majority of these items are already listed in my Poshmark closet, which my Poshmark name is Erin Parker 22, if you want to check out my closet. So I will show you all what I found. I Most of this is pretty much all fall winter items because Right now when I'm at the thrift stores, that's where I'm focusing is just jackets, jeans, sweaters, and pants. Um, I'm not really going through dresses at all right now, even though I probably am passing up good items there, but I just really wanna build up my closet to have just a lot of winter items for people to choose from because that is what's selling the best for me right now, um, as, long, as well as active wear. So I have some of that too. So the average cost of goods, I do not know. I haven't figured it because it's from so many different stores. Um, but the items that I paid up for, I will let you know. The rest of the items that I don't point out um, were like $7 or less. So just kind of average thrift store prices. But um, some of the thrift stores I go to do mark up Lululemon, Athleta, um, jackets shoes have gotten so expensive at my thrift stores i um, am getting so picky i think that's a big part of why i don't pick up too many shoes is because they're if they're just so expensive some of them are like 40 dollars for a pair of tennis shoes that aren't even an amazing pair so those are really expensive but everything else is pretty much thrift store prices except for a few different brands so i'll start with this so this brand i don't pick up um, a lot, but it just depends on the piece. But this is J. Crew. This is their newer label. It's an extra small. I just love this. It's a newer style and it's like a faux fur vest. I love the color of this, like a camel color and has zipper pockets and it feels pretty much brand new. So I listed this, I think for $50 and hopefully it'll sell for at least 40. Then I got Athleta. This is an older label, so definitely not one of their newer ones, but I love this piece. It's a size medium. It is goose down filled and in pretty much brand new condition. It's in, has pretty much no wear to it. So I think this will do really well. It's gotten a good amount of interest and it's only been listed, I think I listed it yesterday. So I listed it for, I think around the $50 mark. This is another J. Crew piece, size extra small. And the reason I picked this up was because it, I could just tell it was a really good fabric. The content tag was cut out, but when I got home and looked it up, it has merino wool and I think alpaca. So a good blend, super soft, just the turtleneck and this color I think will do be popular. And it's the high low hem and it was in pretty much brand new condition. So I listed this one for 45. This was right next to that sweater. So I think it's from the same person by Anthropology. It's an, also an extra small. And the by Anthropology brand, whenever I picked it up recently, it has sold pretty quickly for a decent amount. So I do pick it up if it's a nice piece in good condition. And this is like a camo leopard print. I love this green, this olive green color for fall. And it's really a lightweight, very thin, lightweight sweater. I listed this for 40. This was an item that I paid up for. I might have paid up a little bit too much. I definitely still think I'll make my money back, but hopefully it'll be quickly. If I do pay up for items, I try to make sure or feel very confident that it's an item that will sell quickly so I can get my money back quickly. So this is Free People and it's a size extra small. I paid $15 for this, but it is new with tags and it retails for $98. Comps actually look pretty good on this. Some of them have sold for between $60 to $70, but 
So if I'm able to get that, it's definitely worth the $15 to me. So in these oversized free people sweaters or sweatshirts um, do tend to do pretty well. So hopefully I can profit. If I paid 15, I'm hoping I can profit between 30 to 40. And then another Athleta piece. This is one of their newer tags. It's a size extra small. This was marked at $12, so I did pay up for this also, but it's a newer style. I think it's from, from spring of 20, so a pretty new piece. And just being hooded in this color, this like burnt orange color for fall, I think will do well. So um, I priced this for 50. I do always list my items for about 20% more than I hope to get because then it leaves room for offers. This was a piece that was not marked up. I think it was only $6.99, so that's pretty good for my thrift stores. Standard James Purse, size two, which is a medium, and it was new with tags. It retails for $95. So Standard James Purse does pretty well, especially in the dresses, but their sweat, these kind of just basic tees and just basic pieces do pretty well. So I listed this, I think I listed it for around 45 to 50. And then another Athleta piece. This is a size medium. So this is a little bit older of a style, but just another basic piece. It has, it's like gray and white striped and just in really good condition. The kangaroo pocket and a hood. So this I listed for around 40. This was one of my favorite finds. And I think one of the reasons I was so excited to find it was because I, in one of the thrift stores, I was going through all the sweaters, just rows and rows of sweaters, and I was finding pretty much nothing. It just felt so picked over. And then I went towards the back of the store and I found two aisles of sweaters that were kind of tucked away that I think a lot of people didn't know about. And this is where I found that. So it is Farm Rio by Anthropology. So I have found this brand, I think once or twice, but the items were too flawed or too worn for me to pick up. So I was so excited to find this piece and it was in really good condition. It is a striped sweater dress and it has these little shimmery threads in them throughout. And this retailed, I believe for $198. So comps looked really good on it. There aren't a whole lot listed. Um, and the prices that they sold for in the past are kind of all over the place, but a lot did sell um, for a pretty good amount, like between 70 to 80. So I listed mine for $98. It is pretty much, there's pretty much no wear to it. And that is, um, about 50% off retail pricing. So hopefully it will sell maybe around 70 to 80. So I'm excited for this piece. Another Athleta piece. This item I haven't listed yet, so I need to look this up. It's a collaboration with Allison Felix, which I'm not sure who she is. I probably will recognize her when I look this up, but any collabs with Athleta tend to do pretty well. And this is a newer style also. I did pay up for these, these were $12. So I'm hoping anytime I pay 10 or above, I plan for the item to sell at the minimum of $40. So I'm hoping that I can get $40 at least for these. So we'll see about these. And then another Athleta. This is a small petite. These are just the basic jogger pants. They have zippers at the ankle. And these do usually do pretty well. So even if it's a little bit older of a piece, since most of these styles are very similar, even the newer pieces, they still do well. And this one, I think it's just a couple years old. It's from spring of 18, so it's not too old and in great condition. So hopefully those will sell for around 35 to 40. This is a newer style in Athleta. So anytime it has the style name written below Athleta, it's a newer piece. This is the Brooklyn ankle pant, size four. This style always does well, usually will sell for around 40. I was surprised about this piece from Athleta. It's a newer one because it has the style name below. It's called the Batona jegging, size small. So when I first saw these, I thought it was going to be an older one because of these, the design on, on here. Um, this design, I don't recognize on their newer pieces. It always seems to be on the older pieces. So I was surprised this was a newer pant, but these are in great condition, kind of a slim leg. 
outdoor hiking pant. So hopefully these will sell for around 40. I love finding this brand. It is Patagonia. And these are a size extra large, so that's a great size. That's the logo there. And these are just like a base layer pant. I haven't sold this style in a while, so I can't remember. I haven't listed this pair either. I don't think these will sell for a lot, maybe 30 to 35. Another Athleta. Extra small. This is just kind of a basic top cross, like faux wrap with a hood. Hopefully we'll get about 30 for that. I found a lot of Athleta, which I normally do. Athleta extra small. I love this. I kind of might keep, well, I don't know. It might be a little small for me, but I love the style, the longer tunic length and just black. You could just wear it a lot. Thumb holes and a hood. So I think this will do pretty well. Hopefully I'll get about 35 to 40. This brand, I don't know if I've picked it up in years. It's been a long time. But the reason I picked this up was because I think it was marked at $3.99 and it's new without tags. It's logo by Lori Goldstein and it's a size 1X. So being new without tags plus size and a, like a sweater cardigan, I think it will do okay. I'm guessing it will sell on eBay, um, but you just never know. So maybe about 30 to 35 for that. Another Athleta, I think I have a lot of my Athleta at the beginning here. So size medium, uh, this is a pretty new style, just a basic black cropped pant, which I don't pick up cropped pants a lot, but this felt pretty much brand new um, and it was for a good price. I think it was maybe $4.99. This is Kalia by Carrie Underwood. It's hard to see her labels fade pretty easily. It's a size large. This is just a basic black wind pant, so I thought this would do well. It has the adjustable hem and just nice and great condition. So hopefully these will sell between 30 to 35. This is Theory and it's a size petite. So I'm thinking just a small or maybe it's an extra small. And it's 100% cashmere. So I find Theory a decent amount and I don't always pick it up, but being 100% cashmere, I definitely got it. And it's in really good condition. Button down cardigan, super soft. I listed this, this is one of the first pieces I listed in this haul. So I think I might've listed it between 45 to 50. This is interesting, I've never seen this. This is Zaya Active, which I do find a good amount, um, but I found two of them and I didn't realize at the time that they are actually sold as a set. So I was glad I was able to get both of these. And they're a size extra, extra large, just two pack sports bra. I think I listed these for about 40. I love finding this brand in jeans, made well. These are called the Slim Boy Jeans, size 28, in great condition. These have gotten a little bit of attention. Just never know how quickly these will sell, um, but I think they should sell between 35 to 40. Athleta size extra small. I feel like I have a lot of extra small in this haul. Just a black or a blue jogger pant. Hopefully we'll get about 30 for these. This is a men's brand I always love finding. It's Roan and it's a size small. These are swim shorts, men's swim shorts. They're lined and hot pink color, obviously. Um, these, I don't know how these will do, but they were in good condition and they were only a few dollars, so I decided to get them. They might sit for a little bit just because of the season we're in, but I definitely feel like they will sell um, come summer if they don't sell before. This is one of my very favorite finds in the fall and winter, Patagonia. The little fleece pullover, snap button, so this I have listed at 80. I think I have it listed at 80. So hopefully it will sell around $60. It's in really good condition. Um, so we'll see about that. Soft surroundings, size large. So this brand I find a lot also. And the pieces that do well for me are like a heavyweight sweaters in good condition. It has to be something with like consistency to it. Um, they have a lot of thinner tops, even like sweaters that are thin. I don't pick those up, but like the heavier knits just always seem to do really well. Or their velour um, hoodies, pullovers, those do really well. 
So this I thought I would give a try to, um, I like the longer length and the color for fall little pockets and it has the snap button on the front. Hopefully about 30 to 35 for that. Another Athleta, size extra large. It's a light pullover with some holes. It has some reflective detailing on it. So hopefully around 30 for this. Another Patagonia. I've never sold this style. It's a women's large, full zipper front. And it has a little zipper pocket on the sleeve. So I'm interested to see how this does. It has gotten some attention um, as most Patagonia pieces do, but hopefully it will sell close to $50. This was a new to me brand. It is LNDR, size small. So I could tell when I found it, it felt like a good quality fabric. So I looked up the brand and comps look pretty good on this brand. So I, oh, and actually this used to be sold, or this was originally sold on Goop website. And so most of the items on the Goop website are um, pretty expensive. So I can't remember, I think this retailed maybe around 150 or so. And it does have light wear. It's just the fabric the, that it's made of. It kind of, once it's washed, it kind of just gets a little more textured, not really pilling at all, but just kind of textured to it. So it has the asymmetrical hem and then it has a draw cord on the side and a little slit. So I thought it was fun, something different. I think I listed this for around 50. I found another of the Roan brand, men's short, size medium. These aren't swim shorts, they're just a real, I think it's just like an athletic short. They're blue and white striped. I listed these, I think close to 50, maybe 45 or 50. This is another brand I don't always pick up. It's Vince. It's a size medium, but this felt pretty much brand new. And I loved the coloring on this, the color block, the gray and the cream. It is 85% uh, wool, 15% linen, so great fabric combination. So I think this will do pretty well. I've had it listed for maybe a week and it's gotten a little bit of attention and I think I listed it for about 50. Another Patagonia piece. This is a women's medium. So it's a cream color. It has a few little marks throughout, but since it's a base layer piece, I don't think that should affect it too much. I think it will still do well. Um, and they're very hard. They're very faint. They're kind of like light little pen marks in a few places. So I just noted that in the description and I think I listed it for maybe about 40, 35 or 40. I try to always check the bra section just real quick. Um, this I found third love. I have, these sell okay for me. A lot of people seem to have really good luck with it. For me, they, they sell, but they don't sell super fast. But this was in really good condition. I love the color of this. The size is 40C. It's the Pima Cotton Wireless Bra. So I listed this, I think, about 35. And then another third love. This is a 34D Classic T-shirt bra. So I think I listed this 30 to 35. I think it might have been 30 for this one. And then this is a Lululemon bra. It's a size 38B. I like on the side here, it has the Lululemon spell out. I love the color of this one. So I think this should do well and hopefully we'll get 35 to 40. And then a pair of Lululemon pants, blue jogger pants. They are like a quick drying fabric, that sleek feeling fabric. Zipper pocket on the back. And there's their little logo. These are a size six and it, they have the style number around the little dot. So it makes it easy to look up to find the style name. I can't remember what these are called, but I do have them listed in my closet. And I think I listed these for 70. I love this brand in jeans. It's Driftwood. These are the Colette style size, uh, waist size 29. So I'm actually surprised these haven't sold yet. I thought these are so fun. They're embroidered at the bottom and a raw hem, frayed hem. Most of the jeans in the Driftwood uh, do have some sort of embroidery detail on them. If they don't have the embroidery detail, they do sell slower, so I don't always pick the ones up that don't have embroidery. But I think these will do well. They've only been listed 
for maybe five days. So I just need to be more patient, <laughs> but I think these will sell maybe 40 to 45. And then one more third love bra, size 36G classic t-shirt bra, just the nude color. So I listed this for about 35. This brand I don't pick up very often, mostly because my thrift stores do mark it up like it's equal to Athleta and Lululemon, which maybe people think it is, I don't know, but um, it just doesn't resell for a lot for me, but it's Fabletics. The reason I got this was it was half off, so I think it was only $3 and it was new with tags. So it retailed for 65. And it's just, I like the style of this. It's a sports bra, but it has a full zipper front. And I don't know, this, maybe I'll get 25 to 30 for it. I was excited about this one. It is Lululemon size small. Thankfully they didn't rip this all the way off because there was no size dot on here. And I would not have guessed this was a size small because it is oversized, but there's the little spot on the back. This feels pretty much brand new. It has just kind of a drop sleeve. They're just a real comfy oversized sweatshirt. So I think I listed this, or no, I didn't list it yet, but I'm guessing I'll list it for around 60. Another Athleta, this is a piece that was tempting to keep. It's a size large. And it has the cozy, like super soft, like on a cold day to wear something like this, it'd be so cozy. Just like the fleece lined, super soft. And it has a hood and drawstrings, long length in the kangaroo pocket. So I think this will do well. I listed this maybe about 45. This brand I don't pick up a lot, but the reason I got this one, it's LL Bean size extra large. It was new with tags and it is 80% silk, 20% cotton. So, and it was marked really low. I think it was maybe $6. So I thought I would try it and we'll see how it does. This is another one of my favorite pieces. I was so happy to find this. It's Sundance. It's a size extra large and it's just a long heavyweight cardigan in really good condition. It is lambswool, mohair, and nylon. So some great fabric contents here. I love this. I hope it will do really well. It's gotten some good interest. It's been listed for maybe five days and I listed it at $80. So we'll see how that does. Then another Athleta pant. This one is, has a little bit of wear, size six. So hopefully I'll get about 30 for these. Just This is does have the ripstop fabric, which if you look up close, it's just little squares all around. This fabric, um, I always try to put in the listing that it is ripstop fabric because people do search that. And so with that, even though they're a little worn, hopefully they'll still sell for around 30. This is my second time finding Beta brand in jeans. My last pair did really well. I think they sold for full price of $45. So these are a small petite and they're a boot cut. And I'm hoping to get about 40 to 45 for these. Then a pair of men's Lululemon pants. They're a size small, so that might, they might sit a little bit longer, but you never know. Gray, I can't remember the name of this style. I do have them listed. They are a little bit older of a style, maybe a few years. I think I listed them for around 60. Then I found two Spanx, uh, like shapewears. These are Spanx, it's a size large. It is just a slip dress. I feel like it probably had, it's strapless and it has little grippers, but then I noticed when I got home, it has where you can add straps. So I don't have the straps that might affect um, what this sells for, but maybe around 30. And then these shapewear shorts, and these are a 3X in great condition. Um, maybe about 30 so or so for those. Another Athleta. Size four, another olive green or hunter green color. These have, if you flip them, little reflective cuffs. And these felt pretty much maybe worn a couple of times. So hopefully about 35 to 40. Zaya Active, this is a size 810, black cropped pant. That is their logo. And hopefully we'll get 30 to 35 for this. Another pair of Beta brand pants. These are a 2XL Petite, black, 
boot cut. I think I already listed these. Um, and usually I list Beta Brand, like the dress pants for 40. I love this brand in jeans. It's Judy Blue, size seven slash 28. And this is a skinny pair, but I still think it will do well. The ones that seem to do the best for me are definitely the distressed ones and like the boyfriend or the straight leg, but I still think this will sell um, maybe about 30 to 35. And then a pair of cool pants, size two regular. These are gray, they're convertible and cargo. So they have little snap buttons. You can roll them up and make them capris. And then they have little cargo pockets on the side and back pockets. So I think I listed these for 45 to 50. Hopefully they'll sell between 35 to 40. And then my last item is another pair of Madewell jeans. These are the Curvy High Rise Skinny, size 28 petite. And these were in great condition. So hopefully between 35 to 40 for this pair. Okay, so that is everything I have to show you all today. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I thought it was a really fun one. I was excited with pretty much all of these pieces when I was listing them. And hopefully they will do pretty well. So hope you all are doing great. I hope you all are having great sales and finding great items when you're out thrifting. Let me know in the comments how you all are and I'll see you all soon.